Kobo has released a lot of e-readers over the years, different screen sizes, different setups, waterproof, even micro mini e-readers like the Kobo Mini. This is very out of character. This is the Kobo Ellipsa. It's a 10.3 inch note taking e-reader with a glow light and its own proprietary stylus with a case involved into the equation as well. This thing is a huge box as well. It is absolutely massive. And today we're gonna unbox it. The box is beautiful. It's a very thick cardboard box. It has holographic logos and even the actual pictures are raised outside the box. It's a very nice experience. In fact, this is to date the largest retail packaging ever in the e-reader world. And it's the heaviest. It's 1.9 kilograms in box retail packaging or 4.1 pounds. Comparing that to the Lumi by Onyx at 1.3 kg, the Guido at 1.2, even the Sony DP at only 700 grams. This thing is a monster. Granted, it does come with a case and a pen, but even with those additives, it's a huge bundle. So let's dive in, shall we? This is a very thick cardstock, as we have told you, but you know what? Everything else inside is as well. The box for the stylus, the tray it sits in, there's an additional thick cardstock box for the e-reader itself, and another tray that has the case down below. Cases on the back like this. It actually opens from the bottom, not the top. The top is sealed. So this is supposed to have some geometric properties where you can go like that and kind of prop it up. It tells you how to snap it in and where you can put the pen and the magnetic snap right there. You can see here, you can use it just as the jelly case like this. It does have some movement, or you can snap the stylus holder and front protector on via magnet and close it like that. A lot of magnets involved here. One, two, three, four magnets and the whole thing. Personally, the most interesting thing to me is the stylus because they called it the Kobo stylus, not the Ellipsis stylus, meaning this could be a precursor for more to come by Kobo. Very thick cardstock once again. You know, this is all very protected, so you can almost just ship the device as is. You have some informative things right here, quick start guide and multi-languages. You do have a lot of languages when it comes to Kobo, and it does look like, much like the P10 stylus from Boyu, you do have to put in a quadruple A battery in order to use this. So it doesn't look like it's using a Wacom stylus, looks like it's using an active capacitive stylus. Although, doesn't mean that Wacom won't work, We'll just have to leave that for the testing. Nib on the top, very Onyx Books Air style, conical pointed out, and two buttons, and you just open up the side like this, where you will find the quadruple A battery waiting for you. We should also mention the whole stylus, as you can see right there, is an aluminum slash metal design. Now for the reader itself, put that off to the side. It is not heavy, it's not light, it's not DPT light, but it's not um, chunky and heavy like a 1980s tape recorder. So you have quick start guide and again multiple languages. Kobo is really good at multiple languages. They are a very international company and you have the braided USB-C cable right down there. Checking over the device it does look like it is slightly tapered. So it does start off thick by the back and it tapers down thin right here. It's not as tapered as say the Forma is or the Wexler Flex one, haha, but this one is tapered all the same. This is the first time we've seen that dedicated rubber stands here and you have a Rakuten Kobo logo. It is lasered on there, nothing on the side, nothing on the bottom or I guess you could say the top, nothing on the other side except a serial number and you have your USB-C along with your status indicator light and your power button. We will note that pretty much every aspect of this device is made in China. That's not a bad thing necessarily, it's just that their stuff used to be and up until this point, except for the Nia, made in Taiwan. Of course, we're going to be doing some further testing before we go into the full review in an upcoming video, but the here's the stylus that comes with it. You will see that it does work with everything. And just for testing purposes right now with you guys, here's the P10 stylus. Active capacitive, all the same with a quadruple A battery in the back. It does not work on any part of the unit. And as we feared, Wacom pens like the Remarkable do absolutely nothing. So unfortunately, this is an absolutely proprietary active capacitive stylus, much like the DPT that only works on the DPT, nothing else will function on this. 
Regardless of that, this is very exciting. This is a very out of character move by Kobo to make such a device like this in the midst of color devices. But this is their move and this is their decision all the same. And we will be doing a follow up full review video, including comparisons to the Remarkable, comparisons to how the DPT functions up against this, and so much more. Stay tuned for youtube.com slash good e-reader and for an unboxing of the brand new 2021 Kobo Ellipsa by Kobo Rakuten. This is Peter.